Okay, so imagine you climbed to the top of a very beautiful hill in the Lake District. You met three other mountain bikers who'd also climbed to the top of this amazing pass. On one side is a lake, on another side is another lake. Looks fantastic. You get out your camera, you do an amazing shot of all three bikers that you've met. On the top of the pass, silhouette, light behind, rising up. Looks amazing. And then you get home and you realise that the camera card has got corrupted and all you've got is this. So we kind of have to imagine all of that shot. So to those guys that I met on the pass, super sorry I didn't get the shot. That's all I got. I don't know what to say. Yeah, hit up the comments. Let me know who you are. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your ride and had good fun. I hope you enjoy the rest of this ride. So all the bike woes are sorted for now. And we're heading out of Stavely. Gears are shifting beautifully. I had to cut down some uh, cable hose to get it right. That seems okay. And now we'll see how we get on. Hello there. Oh, what do you know? Start the camera and somebody comes in away. So we've done the first climb. That's pretty full on. Up to uh, low heights, or low house rather. Low house is still quite high. And now you can see across the beautiful views that we're going to experience, hopefully. With Boltby Bash coming up, this was a great way to exercise, great way to work out how my miles are doing. Feeling pretty good. Looking forward to the first enduro event of the year over at Boltby. Hope the weather is as good as it was last year. It was absolutely brilliant. All right, first sort of descent, but there has been walkers, so I have to be careful. And it's loose. Thank you. Coming down towards Kentmere Hall. Nice. What's really hard to pick out on this video is the nice football sized boulders that frequently appear in the Lake District. They're all over the place and just as you're getting up to speed they start appearing collected like a ball pit of doom.
Okay, so I've got a strong suspicion that hike bike is going to start relatively soon. Um, that descent I've just done, I was completely locked out on fork and, fork and shock. So I was wondering, this is pretty hard on my hands, and that's why. Yeah, always check everything. I did knee pads, I did camera, but I didn't do the shock or the fork. Yeah, normal, normal. Anyway, carry on. It's a lovely cracking day. In the Lake District. There's also a lot of slanted rocks in the Lake District. A lot of the bedrock is really ancient, so it stands up very proud like this. And um, that really can cut up your tires. It's great fun though. It's great fun sliding around on it. Yes, thank you, buddy. I'm going that way up. Oh, it's truly beautiful here. Just gotta love this. Up to this first pass. <coughs> Gartscape or Gars, hang on. Gars, I don't know, I can't remember. <coughs> All I know is, get to the top of here, switch around, hit up Nambil, pass and back down. <sighs> okay, so this is Gate Scarf. I've been going up and up and up and up. I think, I'm not far from the top. It's getting quite windy. But it's a beautiful day. Oh. I'm sweating. Huh. Oh. Beautiful though. Oh. Right. Nearly at the top. Okay, so I think I might be meant to go straight on and then down and up again, but Nanville Pass might be shorter. I spoke to someone on the way up who was an expert, always good to speak to an expert, however annoying they are. Uh, I think this is the way he was talking about hiking the bike up this way rather than going down Gates Garth and then having to climb back up again. So we'll see. If you're doing a lot of natural climbing in the Lake District, you won't get loads and loads of flow unless you know the trail really well. What I found with this was a great day out, great cardio exercise, great views, great fun technically, and really tricky at times to know how fast to go because you've just got a load of stuff that suddenly appears and if you don't know the trails, it makes you pretty tough. So 
I'm basically near the top of Nambield. I'm so glad I didn't go down Gate Scarf. You can see it all the way down the bottom there. And I've had to come along this route and all the way back up again. And this would have been oh, a miserable climb all the way back up here again. Well, not miserable, to be honest, but long. Windy, it's gonna be shitting difficult. Let's see what happens. Good, good, good. Slow techie shit. Right, okay. Let's see where we're going next. Cool, cool. Damn, 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 slipped as I tried to get it round. 
Damn. Whew. Take a rest. It's tricky when you stop because how do you get back on? Get body position and momentum. Okay. Where are we going to look? Tricky. Oh, slightly naughty line. Stiction on this fork's horrendous. Wait a minute. I'm locked out. <laughs> I just come down all of that. Completely locked out. Again. I was in pedal mode in the rear. You idiot. Oh look, I've got suspension. That's what this bike's for. set out to do the long way round. Could have gone more direct and maybe session stuff and maybe I'll go back again to Nambield, session some of the stuff up on the pass, come up and down, or even try some of the other passes that are up. Uh, three, two, one, go is what I'm thinking. Oh, 
I'm a bit lost up the top here, I don't want to be this far up the trail really. This is a good workout. I don't know if I'm on the right track. I'm gonna stop in a second and have a look. I just hit the same heavily bruised turn I've already got. That's it. Ah. I can't feel that toe anyway, so it doesn't matter. Take care. It's nice to have something a bit flowy, but the Lake District insists on massive rocks somewhere. Anywhere, is he going along? 
하시기 바랍니다. 자, 이렇게 하고 싶은 분들은 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 이